Hey guys, if you want to see me look kind of like a gothic cupcake, you might want to stick around for this haul. Today I'm seeing why everyone is hauling Shein. I have been seeing a ton of videos going around you guys with people reviewing Shein and giving them positive results or positive reviews and everyone just kind of generally being happy with what they're getting. And they're a site that I largely wrote off a long time ago because they're one of those sites like when you're an influencer, brands are always like writing you to send you stuff. And they're ones that like hammered me for a really long time and I just kind of got turned off. Um, but I have been seeing a lot of people liking their stuff and so I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna take anything from them. I'm gonna buy it myself and I'm gonna see if it's any good. So I spent about $200 buying a bunch of stuff and y'all, I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts. So the first stuff that I have for you guys is one of those like, it's good, but it's not great, but it's okay. And it's this little orange short set from Shein. Um, there's no pockets in the shorts, which kind of breaks my heart. I wish there were. Um, fits pretty nicely. So. Shein, because they're an Asian site, you have to order um, in Asian sizes, so you typically want to size up. So most of the stuff that I'm gonna show you is gonna be a 4X, everything I can find will be linked down below. Um, so these do not run a true 4X, these are actually very close to a 20, um, with a little more space in the waist. So they are cut very straight and narrow, and I will say that is pretty consistent along all of their stuff. It's not really cut for curves, and it's not really cut for pear shapes or any kind of shapes other than a column shape, meaning that you don't have a lot of differentiation between your top and your bottom, body and not a lot of curve. So if you're of that body type, I think this actually might be a really great company for you to check out. But if you're built like me, it's going to be a little problematic. So these shorts are nice and big in the waist. They fit me just fine in the hips and thighs. And I love the little pom-pom detail they put at the bottom. And then the top that matches is a wrap top. And I do enjoy this style of top quite a lot. Um, so you kind of throw it on like this and then there are lines, lines, there are strings, tassels, ties that you go around the back and then around the front to secure it so it does stay up um, and I do really like it. One of the things um, I will tell you right off the bat is that this is a very affordable website that you can buy from and as such you're getting uh, not the most ideal construction. Um, and one of the things I will mention kind of throughout the video is that everything looks much better filmed like on camera and in pictures. So I will say that like, I will post some of this stuff on my Instagram and I will obviously show it to you guys in this video, but I will say that for the most part in person, we don't get as great of an effect when we're wearing this stuff, which is kind of strange. Um, it's not often that things look so much better in pictures than they do in person, but this company is definitely an example of that, and I think that speaks to the quality. So um, that first set was good, not great, but let's move on. This next little set that I got is another short set, and I actually really like this one. I think it may be my favorite thing looking at the ground and everything that I have in the haul. I think this actually be my favorite thing in the haul. Um, so we have a really nice pair of floaty shorts in kind of a teal brocade print. I really like that it feels very world travel-y. It feels very like meditating in India vibes, like feels very like Bali, and I really, really like them. I like how loose they are. They're very airy and very thin, which is great. Um, so they fit really nice. The top, because you order as a set, is also a 4X, which is equivalent to like a 20, um, maybe a 22, like maybe a 22. Um, the top is just like way too big. The smocking isn't tight enough to stay up on me. So this is one of those that I'm definitely going to have to take in. But it's such an easy alteration. I literally would just cut the seam, erase, move it in, then re-sew it so it's easy peasy. Um, and I think this is an, a small enough alteration that I'm willing to, to do that because I do like the print and I do like the set. So uh, I think this is kind of where I won in this haul, you guys. Um, I'm still gonna say that the fabric feels really cheap. It doesn't feel like it's going to hold up. There's no pockets. We are getting like bare bones, bare minimum clothing here. So um, I, I feel like it's okay for the price. Um, it's definitely not something that I felt like I overpaid for necessarily, but it certainly isn't the quality that I'm used to from other affordable retailers. The next item I have to show you is a really pretty dress that photographs beautifully and feels like I'm wearing some kind of slightly strong tissue paper, um, but it also reminds me of that Senorita song by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello, which I am 
obsessed with is anybody else obsessed with that song like give me a thumbs up if you like love some Sean Mendez first of all who doesn't love them some Sean Mendez like when he was 17 I am older than 17 and I should not have been having those feelings about a 17 year old he was very delicious but now that he's 20 which is still very young um he's very delicious and I feel much better about saying that I love me some Sean Mendez so give me a thumbs up if you're also feeling that song and if you also love you some Sean Mendez so this is like a very like call me senorita kind of dress um I really do like it I was really hoping to get this and be able to recommend it for like a wedding dress or if you're going to a wedding or if you're going to like something a little more formal and you want something pretty um it but again I, even when i hold it up and i look in the viewfinder i feel like this looks so much nicer than it does in person but really it just looks so cheap um again we have like loose stitches everywhere i think you guys can see that there you go like loose stitches everywhere it's just not well made and just feels very cheap like to the point where i feel like if i sat in this like i'd be worried about like the seams of the tears coming undone so um even they look i mean they don't look terribly made it just feels like just the cheapest fabric that they could find so i'm not the biggest fan of this but again i think it photographs beautifully so if you're someone who's always wanting to like start an instagram account or if you're into fashion and you have an instagram account and you want to like kind of get some content going and get some photos going and get some you know kind of content out there i think that that dress would actually be really great most of the shein stuff would be great for that but for the everyday woman i really just can't see how this is like a viable place to spend your money hi i'm a negatron um so i'm gonna stop being a negatron for a second and talk about the next dress that I actually really do enjoy. Um, got makeup all over it already, so I'm gonna go get a Mr. Clean Eraser and try and handle that. But it is a maxi dress with a really cool kind of Aztec-y print on it. It looks like it's got some version of like forks or cactus or something. It reminds me of like everything I saw when I went to Cozumel last year. So pretty, so cute. Again, yeah, makeup everywhere. Look at this. I'm such a, is anybody else this kind of a mess? get makeup on all your white stuff. Um, I really love how this fits. I love the ties in the back. I think it, the elastic in the waist hits the perfect spot. Um, I love how airy it is. I think it's really nice and flowy. It is very see-through, so just be mindful of that. Um, again, I will see it again. Cheap fabric, feels very cheap. It's kind of like a stretch polyester, which is strange for a maxi, um, but you do have a little bit of give in it. I mean, so that's exciting, I guess. Um, so yeah, just a little, a little disappointing, but I do feel like from a stylistic standpoint, this actually is very cute, and I will wear it. Um, but I will not be wearing it next year because I just don't think it'll hold up. Okay, so back to being an Agatron. Um, this next romper I absolutely despise for lots of reasons. One, the fit is not great, um, but two, it feels like paper. Like the fabric feels like paper. It doesn't, it's a non-stretch woven, which is fine. Um, it just feels so thin and papery and hard i guess if that makes any sense um so anyway i just don't have the body for it like my hips are way too much as you can see in the try portion i feel like if i took a deep breath like the seam down the front would just like pop open or my butt would hang out like this is not a vibe i got this in a size i think i got this in a 4x um which seemed to have been working up until this point i didn't really know what to get on their side i went by their measurements um and i i mean who knows i oh it's a 3x okay i should have got a 4x i guess um but either way the fabric is really uncomfortable so i don't really like it i don't think i would wear it but i like it again you can see it like in the viewfinder like see it on camera that it actually looks like it would be really pretty but it just it's un so uncomfortable. It's just so uncomfortable. So this one is going straight into the trash. This next little set, I actually believe I was able to order the pieces separately so I was able to get a better fit. Um, not really my style, but when I got it, I put it on, I thought it was really, really cute. So it's a geometric kind of black and white style. We have a little mini skirt, which is nice. It fits really well. It gives me a lot of like stretch. Main issue with it, it is a little sheer, so wear a like full brief nude choney underneath so that it works for you. And then the top is really durable. It's just a little t-shirt with a little tie in the front that is really cute. Um, I still feel like it was a little too big for me, so I took the knot and kind of stuffed it up under my bra to get more of a midsection showing. Um, so again, a really, really cute set. Um, quality is the same that I have been saying this entire time, so nothing really different there. But I do like the pattern. I think it's a little cooler than I normally am and kind of makes me feel like like I'm one of those street style like cool girls or whatever you know one of those cool street style girls so this is cute um and I will probably wear it a couple times but I definitely don't think it's gonna hold up so again another piece that photographs really really nicely but just in person falls a little short okay we are here for my gothic cupcake moment okay so I started off by looking for a bodysuit because I wanted to try the fit I think the fit is okay um it's just everything is so disappointing on account of like the 
how it looks in person. Like, even like if I hold this up, doesn't that look dainty and kind of okay? And then I put it on and like this is scratchy and everything just looks so flimsy and cheap. Um, so I started with this bodysuit and it fits fine, it's okay. But I put on this black skirt with it, I shouldn't have. It's kind of a cute skirt on its own. Like it's a tiered skirt with hearts and it's black and white and it is really cute. But when worn together, I really just look like a voodoo donut like donut. I look like like a, a gothic cupcake, which is certainly a vibe, just not mine. Um, so this was this was not an ideal outfit at all, at all. Um, but like I said, the bodysuit was great, so um, we're gonna put in some try-on footage of me just with the bodysuit and a pair of jeans. It's fine, I probably will never wear it again because it's uncomfortable, but it is what it is, it's fine. We're gonna get rid of that. Um, and the skirt is cute. I'm gonna keep it so I can try and restyle it, but it is not my favorite thing in the world. The next item I have for you guys was the item I was most excited about um, when I placed my order. And usually when you get really excited about something and it doesn't work, it ends up being like, not devastating, but like not not devastating. So I ordered this pair of palm leaf pants and you guys know, if you've been watching long enough, this is absolutely something I would run to, absolutely something I would be thrilled to wear. I love a pair of oversized lightweight beach pants, especially in a palm print. It's like kind of my, my whole spring summer aesthetic. Um, these, not only do they fit really strangely on me, again, these are cut for body type. So if you're a hippie like me, don't waste your money or your time. Um, but what really threw me about it was not just the fit issue, but the fact that the fabric itself feels like a Brillo pad. Like it feels like, okay, when you wash your dishes, you know you have those sponges that are like spongy on the bottom and then kind of like a little rough on top to like scrub with. That's what this feels like. Um, and it really sucks because it looks like it would be crepey. It has that texture of a crepe fabric and it is a crepe fabric, but it is like, I feel like I could exfoliate with this. Like this is just really, really, really uncomfortable. Um, and what's mainly problematic about that is that the seams run obviously down the outside of your leg and down the inside of your leg. So as you're walking, this seam is rubbing up against your skin with this rough fabric. There's no way it's not going to cause irritation. There's no way it's not going to cause chafing and pain and just general discomfort. And I do not have sensitive skin. And I felt like two seconds of putting these on and I like wanted to rip them off. So um, heartbroken about that. Let's move on. My earring. <laughs> I took my earring out with that one. <laughs> okay, the next one I have to show you is just a cute little t-shirt. I don't really often do t-shirts, but I, if you've been around for a while, you know that I am a tea drinker. I am an Earl Grey hot drinker um, every morning and every night. Um, morning I do regular Earl Grey, and then at night I do decaf Earl Grey. So I saw this t-shirt and it says, it's a t-shirt. And sometimes your girl likes her a pun, you know? Like sometimes your girl likes her a pun. And so I saw this and I was like, yes, I'm gonna get this just to like wear around the house, wear to bed, whatever. This is just like the cutest, it's so me. It's so me. Um, there's not much to say about this other than it's just a t-shirt. The fabric isn't exceptionally soft. The fit isn't exceptionally great. It's fine. It's just an actual t-shirt um, and, I, and I love it. It's probably my like, favorite thing in the haul outside of like the short sets, but like realistically, this is kind of my favorite. This next up I have to show to you, <laughs> you guys, kind of ended up looking a little more adult than I had planned. Um, it looked like it would be so cute. We have seersucker fabric, we have a nice smocking in the back, we have a peplum and we have a tie, but the, <laughs> the ties are too high. So that like they tie here and in the middle, it's like, good morning, sailor. Like, it's just like, would you like to be naughty on the beach with me because I have easy access in this shirt? Like, <laughs> it just, uh, I put this on earlier and I literally just could not stop laughing at the amount of like, if I were doing like nautical adult film, like this is what, this is totally what I would wear with like white sailor pants, right? Like, come on, it, it's, it's all right. I don't know, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Um. Feels cheap and crappy and it's just a hysterical shirt because it's trying to be a lady. You know what I mean? She's like, she's trying to be a lady. She's like, look, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be a lady. And then she's like, but not right now. You know, which, you know what? We're all like that. We are all ladies sometimes and then other times we are not ladies and that is totally fine. Um, but this one, 
didn't just, it's not for me. It's just not for me. Okay guys, so this is our last item and I really don't know how I feel about it. I would love your feedback because I oscillate between, oh my God, this is so cute and what in the ever loving fried chicken are you wearing, Crystal? So I wanna know your feedback. Um, so we have this really potentially adorable, potentially hideous, not sure, ruffly dress. It's a fit and flare, has a defined waist, has this really pretty ruffle. I love the star mesh fabric. I love these dainty sleeves. I think what throws me is is the high neck of it all. It just kind of feels a little too maybe princessy innocent. Um, and then this ruffle is just, I don't know. I don't know you guys. I don't know. I feel like with my hair up and like a pretty necklace and maybe like a nice like Gucci belt and like some nude heels that this could kind of like be really chic and like fashion-y. Um, or I look like I beat up a four year old girl and stole her dress. So I'm not really sure kind of where I'm at on this one. Can't wait to hear your feedback. Um, I really, I got it because I really did love this fabric. I, I think the little stars are just so precious. I think they're so adorable. And as a result, I have purchased it, but I just don't know if I should keep it or if I should style it. So sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what I should do with the pink star dress. Um, and then I will go from there. Okay guys, so that is it for me and the Shein haul. I am dying to know what you guys thought because I still feel like I haven't made like a firm decision on whether I like them or not. I feel like, you know, overall, the fabrics were kind of garbage and the stitching was kind of mediocre and thrown together, but the prices kind of reflect the quality that I got. I will say if we are like ranking them against other similar brands, um, I feel like this is the lowest quality when I compare them to Boohoo, when I compare them to Forever 21, when I compare them to Pretty Little Thing, like that genre of store is kind of how I categorize Shein in because it's roughly all kind of the same price. And I do feel like this quality is just considerably less desirable than those other retailers. So it's it just kind of feels to me that I would rather go to a Boohoo or go to a Pretty Little Thing or Forever 21 or what have you to get a similar product um, that I can, you know, you know, return easier, I guess, I don't know. Um, now, Shein did have some things that were kind of unique to them and that kind of seemed a little interesting, um, but by and large, I did see a lot of their stuff on Amazon and a lot of their stuff on other retailers, so they obviously do resell a lot. Um, and so because it was, some things were great, one, one thing was great, two, the t-shirt was good. Um, two things were great, but everything else was just kind of like, yeah, I don't know, great in pictures, but not so much, that I really just don't, I don't know how I feel about it, and I don't really feel 100% comfortable recommending that you guys shop there at the end of the day. I think it's gonna be a waste of money, and I'd rather see you guys, if you're on a budget, shop at places like Boohoo and Forever 21. Um, if you're gonna go down the fast fashion route, um, there's just a lot better quality options. So I would say, if you wanna shop Shein, you have to find something that you're like, I've never seen this before, um, uh, this is exactly what I'm looking for for X event, um, and if it doesn't work out, I'm good having thrown away that 10, 20 bucks or whatever. So, you know, don't, I don't know that I would go there as a rule for anything, um, but I will say I would probably still check it out here and there to see if there's like a couple of looks I want to snag, but I don't think this is going to be a daily stop for me, you guys. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you and you saw something that you like and you learned something new. I learned a lot of things through this haul and I learned that I'm going to keep my money and put it elsewhere. So I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. I so, so appreciate you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!